This is Hank Hendergraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. This one comes from my sister, actually, my older sister, Joby, one year older than I am. Uh, She is fighting pancreatic cancer and sending a missive to her praying family and friends. She's thanking them for their prayers. She's grateful for their, their many expressions of love. And then she tells us that her mind has been riveted upon the truths and promises of God, particularly riveted on the lyrics of a song titled Abide With Me, a song written by Reverend Henry Francis Light, as he himself was dying of tuberculosis. Joby says, the words blessed me. The words made me realize the brevity of life and the importance of walking closely with our Lord. And that whether whether we are in sickness or in health, The verses, writes Joby, were especially meaningful to me this past Wednesday. This past Wednesday, as I lay on my hospital bed in the surgical wing on the sixth floor of the hospital, and as I was looking out on the very wide and tall window facing the beautiful St. Andrew's Cathedral with its gold cross on top of a tall spire. Joby writes, as I looked through that window, I just loved that view. I was far above the tree line, and I could see the vast view for miles around. And as I surveyed and reflected, the sun was dimly shining, and the heavy, humid air hung clothing the landscape prior to the pending storms. As I continue to watch, writes Joby, The storms rolling in from the west amazed me, amazed me in that through them I heard God saying, watch and see what happens when the storms of life come, and they will come to each of us. What a sight it was when when the very dark grayish and black clouds intensified, when the winds began to howl, engulfing the city, swirling and billowing, obscuring the city below, and though the angry storm-filled clouds were billowing and swirling in that city and around the cross, it never once obscured or hid that cross. The cross, the cross stood in direct contrast to the stormy landscape before my eyes. And so says Joby, as I am stair-stepping my way by his grace and in his timing toward glory, as reminded of my precious Savior's sacrifice for me on the cross of Calvary, the angry, blackened, swirling, billowing clouds of Satan on that day of Good Friday wanted to hide him from our eyes and obscure our salvation. And so sometimes it also goes dark for each of us. And then in those times we must remember he went to the grave, he arose in victory, he ascended to heaven. So when the storms of life seek to engulf us, especially in our final days, remember, when the darkness deepens, he abides with us. And as the last verse of that precious hymn came to me, says Joby, it came with a glorious promise. Hold thou the cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life and in death, O Lord, abide with me. I look 
forward to that day. And so ends the beautiful letter update from my sister Joby, who is most certainly a hero of the faith to me. She has lived her life for the Savior, and now she's resting peacefully in his arms as she faces the most severe trial of her earthly existence, but with hope, looking forward to the promise of glory. Thanks for tuning in.